be making an easy six petal flower. You can use it as an applique or for lots of other projects. And I'm gonna work the entire thing in this light green. This is a DK weight cotton yarn. As you can see, it shows up much better in camera. So on the camera, so I'm going to go ahead and do it all in the same color. But for this particular one, I changed color every round. There's a lighter purple and a dark purple. And it's just really simple, three rounds, puff stitches, double crochets and chains, and then we'll use slip stitch, single, half, double, and double to make our petals. So this won't take us long at all. And let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we'll need to make a magic ring. So go ahead and take the end of your yarn, your palm there, a little bit longer, about that, and wrap it around and make an X behind your finger and then hold it steady right here reach your hook under the first strand and bring the second strand through so it should look like that just made mine a little small go ahead and chain one that kind of closes this part up and now we're ready to work our puff stitches in we're going to work six puff stitches, and here's how you work the puff stitch. Pull my yarn there. You will yarn over, insert right into the ring, yarn over and draw up a loop. Repeat that, yarn over, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert, draw up a loop. So that's a total of three times. And you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook. We'll yarn over and draw through them all. And this never works well for me when I'm on camera. I don't know why. But it should be a little bit easier for you to pull them all through. Let's see which one of these is my actual loop there we go and then chain one that will close out the stitch now you're going to repeat this so that there are six of these little puff stitches this is right here in the center so let's work another one together and one and two and three times gives us seven loops on our hook Yarn over, draw through them all. There we go, I did better that time. Chain one to finish off your stitch. Repeat this until you have six of these puff stitches inside your ring, always working over both of these strands right here. All right, I finished my sixth stitch there, and now we're gonna pull this little hole closed. So you grab the yarn in and give it a nice little tug and you'll have it close up the hole. It may not get completely closed just yet. You have to come back and pull it again later, but it gets pretty close. And then you're gonna slip stitch in the top of your first puff stitch. Okay, and that closes us up. It gives us that nice puff stitch center there to work from. So now for round two, if you want to change colors, you would do it right before you pulled it through the slip stitch. Chain seven. And this counts as a double crochet and a chain four. Now come and find the space in between the next two puff stitches. And we're going to double crochet two, so you'll yarn over. Insert right here in the between them. Yarn over, pull the loop. Yarn over and pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two again. So you'll work two double crochet right here in this chain space. And then you'll chain four. These chain four spaces are where you're gonna work your petals. Look for your next space there and double crochet two. And 
and then you'll chain four. Repeat all the way around until you get back to this point right here where we worked our chain seven. So we get to the, you'll work the two double crochet right here before that and chain four and then I'll show you how to finish off this last little edge. So here we are, I've gone around here and you can see I have these two double crochet together in the same space. So one, two, three, four, five. And now I've done my chain four. And to have the sixth for our sixth petal flower, I'm going to work right here where I joined. Double crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch to the third chain in your chain seven. That way it was like a double crochet and a chain four. So that closes it up. Now we're ready to do our petals. This part on here, they'll go around your chain fours. So what you're gonna do is each of these chain four spaces, okay, you're gonna ignore these double crochet you will slip stitch, single crochet, so insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Then you'll half double, so yarn over, insert, and draw the loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. Three double crochet, we just did those on the last round, so one, Two, three, now another half double, single, and a slip stitch. And you'll repeat that for every one of these chain four spaces. Slip stitch, single, half double, three doubles, half double, single, slip stitch. So for our next one, we would just ignore these two double crochet and slip stitch into the next, and then single, half double, work that. So work that in each one of these chain four spaces. Once you finish all of these here, you've ended with a slip stitch and you're just going to fasten off. So grab you some scissors, clip your end, and then you can either do traditional fasten off where you go around or you can just pull it through, which is what I do a lot of times. That way, when I weave it in, I'm gonna pull it across and weave it in behind here and that'll pull it completely closed. And then that's it. So you can see in one color or in multiple colors, looks good either way. It's just an easy six petal flower with a nice little puff stitch center. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Come visit us at lovelifeyarn.com for more than 200 free patterns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.